Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, priorities first, right? We got to get our priorities in check. The number one thing that we need to address in this video at the very start, I just want to get it out of the way. <laughs> Happy October! Yes! Happy Halloween season, happy spooky season. I'm so excited. This is, this is the most wonderful time of the year, in my opinion. Like, this is when my soul comes alive and we get all spooky and it's just, it's like, it's just my jam. I want to do like Halloween themed videos all month this month. So I want every single video to kind of be like spooky themed. So in the spirit of Halloween season, what I want to do today is I kind of want to try the, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's like the blood splatter effect with resin. And I've never tried this before, but it's where you kind of like either do like little blotches of like red resin um, to make it look like blood. So if you guys are interested in seeing if I can pull off a blood splatter effect, then continue watching. And so I have two different molds here. So I have this heart dish mold that I made in a video like a while ago. Um, so I don't have a link for this one uh, because I did make it from like a glass heart dish that I found. So I'll be using that one. And then I also have this coffin mold that I want to use. I know I use this in every video, but I just love this mold so much. So this is from Taco Molds and I will have the link for that one down in the description if you want to check it out. So I have some resin here that's been sitting for a little while. So it has gotten thicker and I think that'll help for this project. Um, and it is casting resin. It is the counterculture DIY casting resin. Um, and it's the pink and purple label. I usually have the links for things that I use in the videos down in the description. If you're ever wondering what something is, you can check the description. So I'm gonna try to use this resin that has been sitting and it's gotten thicker. So I think that it'll be able to make like a really cool drippy effect better than resin that was just mixed up because resin that you've just mixed up is obviously thinner. So once you've like let it sit for a little bit, it has gotten thicker. So I think I'm gonna try to do that. It is also tinted red a little bit. So I think I'm gonna make it a little bit more red and then we will jump in. I'm going to just kind of like dribble it around on the mold. Um, not everywhere. I'm just gonna do like the little splatters and like on the heart mold, I'm gonna try to drip it down the side. I'm gonna get started on coloring this resin and then we will drip.
Okay, so we've got our blood drippies, which is perfect timing to be done because this resin is getting like way too thick on the coffin one. I did kind of like, I was trying to avoid the little stringies kind of like getting on the mold, but then I just committed to it because it kept happening. And I kind of like the effect. Um, and I left no stringies on the heart dish just to kind of see and like compare the two. But anyway, we're gonna let this cure, just the drippies, just like this, not filling it yet. Uh, we're gonna let it cure for 24 hours and then we're gonna come back and actually fill the whole thing. And I think that these drippies will stay and they won't like go anywhere and that's how you get the blood splatter to kind of stay in one spot rather than like if you were to pour a bunch of resin in and try to do blood splatters like that i feel like it would kind of spread out so i think letting it cure is how you get the blood drips to kind of stay and then you can fill the whole thing later once those are cured okay so i'll see you guys in 24 hours for when we fill the rest of these molds Okay, you guys, we are back to pop these out and I'm sure you guys saw it, but I did decide to do the like white wispy thing that I always seem to do in all my projects, but I thought it would look like spider webs or something. So we're gonna pop out the coffin first because I'm just really excited about it. So oh, I have not looked yet. Ooh, 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 it looks like blood in the viewfinder. <gasps> 
Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so let's all just admit that this is not the color of blood. I realize that, you realize that. Let's just realize it together. Um, it's a very Kool-Aid color rather than like a blood color, but that's okay. I'm actually really happy with the white in the back because it did kind of, rather than, you know, staying the way I had put it, it kind of, you know, does that thing that alcohol ink usually does, but it like sank to the center. Um, but I feel like it looks really cool from the front. I definitely think it either looks like cobwebs or spider webs, probably more cobweb than spider web, but I still think it looks really cool. And I actually really do like, what was I calling it? The stringies, <laughs> like the stringies and the, you know, emptier spaces. I do really like that. And I feel like it fills the space in a little bit. I don't know, I kind of love it, especially from far away. I feel like that looks so cool. Okay, so we're gonna pop out the heart dish next, which I did try to do some like, drippies down the sides so ta -da. what do we think so what i did with this one was i left the center um really clear and then on the sides is where i put the white wispies and i love it i mean from the from like what i can see in the viewfinder it looks really really cool Ooh, stop this is so cool because like the white like wispiness, the, we'll just call it cobwebs. The cobwebs go from like the side all the way to like the back of the piece here and it kind of just like rounds those edges really well. So I'm gonna show you guys some close-up clips of our <laughs> vampire-esque, very Kool-Aid man um, heart dish and coffin tray. So let me know what you guys think of our first Halloween video. Okay, so I, really quick, I don't know what I'm gonna title this video. I know that I put on Instagram um, some suggestions for naming our Halloween videos. Most people are saying resin ween. So if that's, if that's what you see in the title, that's because that's genuinely what won. Um, but I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> Also, let me know if you guys want to see anything specific for Halloween videos. I do have kind of like a lineup of ideas that I want to do for these videos, but honestly, I did when I started this video, I had an entirely different idea that I was trying to do and it did not work out. So I pivoted to this. So if you have anything that you would like to see, leave it in the comments and I might end up doing it if something else fails. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and following me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death and I will see you on the next video. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you are sub why did I look away? I don't know. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed. What did I say? <laughs> Before I go, uh, for those of you who, made, who, <laughs> who have made it all the way to the bloopers, um, what is your favorite Halloween movie? Put it in the comments, I want to know. Um, and that's it, so I hope you have a really fabulous day. I pressed um, record again just to ask you that question, so please tell me what your favorite Halloween movie is.